Hey, welcome back to Australia Homestead. I'm Kanan. I'm Nikki. And today on Would You Rather, we're going to discuss these two topics. Right hand or left hand? Right hand. Would you rather save seeds or buy from a seed company? All right. So with those two, we're going to take five minutes to kind of get our why we would choose one or the other. And we'll be right back. All right. It's been five minutes and here we go. Nikki, would you rather save seeds or buy seeds? Well, I'm cheap, so I would rather save seeds. However, I will say that I am not necessarily a good seed saver. <laughs> I will admit to that. Some things are easy, right? You've got lettuce and radishes and beans and peas, and some things are super, super easy. Some things take a little bit more work. Um, I am not terribly patient, and a lot of times because our season is so short, I don't always have time to let things go all the way to bolt to drop seeds either. So um, while I would certainly pr prefer to, to save seeds, uh, I very seldom can. So, I mean, and I, I am one of those people who really enjoy like sitting down with the territorial or Baker Creek seed catalogs and trying new varieties. And you can't do that if you're saving them all yourself. Yeah. So I'm going to go the same way of buying seeds. Now, I have said in previous videos, I am not the gardener between us. I pretty <laughs> much have a death touch to plants. No matter what stage they are, if they're seeds, I can drown and kill them. If they he are- kills them with love. <laughs> a whole lot of love. I pour it on. If, if they are full-size plants, I can equally drown or not water them at all and let them- die on the vine basically <laughs> so for me buying seeds is where it would be because i am a terrible gardener but as nikki said she would prefer to save i would prefer to save seeds one yes it is cheap but i would be curious without doing the research on this i would have to come back maybe later on and do this but every year that you save seeds i would be curious to know if you basically evolve plants to where they are going to grow. Now, we have mentioned multiple times that living here has taught us what can and can't grow. Mm -hmm. But if you had something here, and I say this to a local gardener up the street from us that has had, um, I think, garlic or onions. I'm not sure. She's got her own garlic line. All right. So she's got a garlic line. Well, you don't spontaneously go, poof, I've got garlic. <laughs> it's been an evolution. And that garlic grows really well here. Yeah. So I think if you could save your own seeds, no matter where you are, you will start with something from a store or maybe you get it from another local gardener. But you get it and plant it in your soil, in your environment. And year after year after year, it evolves into something that does really well. Plants want to grow. You know, that's, that's their thing. They <laughs> like to grow. So... <laughs> Eventually, they want to evolve to Unless thrive. Unless Caden's growing them, and then they just want to die. They will die. Don't don't <laughs> ever invite me over to... like a field of hospice patients. <laughs> yep. Yep, there it is. But anyway, I think you would want to save, and it will take probably multiple years, but your plants will get better every year because they will evolve to thrive in the setting you have them in. And that's true. It's, it's the laws of adaptation. I've done some of that with some oak leaf lettuce. That I had going here for like four and a half years until some wayward goats ripped it all out and ate it. But um, yeah, I just would let it self-seed and it would come back and it would come back. And every year they were getting bigger and better and then they died of tragic death. But absolutely. I So two votes, save your seeds. Yeah. Two realistic votes and we're, we're probably going to buy seeds. Yeah, we'll, we'll do what we can. I mean, people have given us stuff. We got some tomatoes from... A friend across the mountain range here uh, that that did pretty well for us. That I think they're Alaskan mm -hmm. tomato, and they were more cold weather hardy. Yeah, and they did pretty well. I was pretty excited by how many uh, tomatoes we got this year. Yep. So, all right. So there you go. That is our would you rather for this week. Do you have other topics? And we do still have a whole bunch. So I know people are like, well, I asked about whatever. He's still got a good dozen or so to yeah, go. Yeah, I do. Um, but if you have others, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Oh, I'm being attacked by a collie dog. That's it for today from Sugar Homestead. Happy homesteading. Oh, don't eat the strip of paper.